Well, I'd like to use SketchUp to make a model of, say, a metal fire pit. If we start with a perspective view, you can see I've moved the mannequin model off to the right to clear things a little. Then we'll switch to a side view, and I'll use the orbit tool just to orbit and move slightly. And what we're going to do is to use the two-point arc with a bulge. So we'll draw, begin drawing the profile that will sweep. So we'll one point here for an arc, another point there for an arc, and we'll move the bulge down like so. The next, let's zoom in a bit, the next little arc will pop into position like so, with the bulge going out to a half circle. Another arc will come over here to about that point there, move the bulge down and click, and finally from there to there with the bulge, and we've made a closed shape. And that's the shape that we're going to sweep through 360 degrees. Let's put a plan view on now, and we'll use the circle option and centre it like so. Oops, I'm not sure that we found the right point then, so I'll go back to a perspective view, zoom in a little, and put that circle at the origin like so. Now, it's not absolutely necessary, but it is sometimes useful to, if we take our side view again, can you see that our surface that we're going to sweep isn't quite centrally placed? And you could, let's do it, pick the surface there and just move it and centre it fairly close to that circle there. Let's go back into our perspective view. And now we can use the surface of revolution tool, the follow me tool. Well, the first step in using the follow me tool is to pick the profile. So, sorry, not the profile, pick the path that you're going to sweep. And I've done just that now. We've selected the circle. Now it's tools and follow me. And we simply click and magically the bowl appears. So if we now look at a side view, you can see that we do have our bowl and we can use the tool here. We might want to put some metallic coating on it. Let's orbit around to make sure that we've got all the surfaces we want and we coat the inside where well, you might want to push pull the circle at the base to make a proper circle for our a little bit hard to get in there, but we can. If we do use the push-pull tool, we can move up and join into the base. And while we're there, let's paint it with that same rusty coloured material. And there's our fire pit. We measure its size from one side to the other. We've got quite a large one, one and a half metres in size. But there's no difficulty in selecting the pit there and scale it. So tools and scale. And you could scale uniformly by so by dragging it down. So there's our can get, get rid of the mannequin now. There's our bowl. I think it's a, a great idea to, to move it into the to have its base point like you would in any GK Plus drawing, move it, picking it like so, and move it to its origin. So now, no matter which view we take, top view, front view, right view, there, we're pretty squared off, and it's going to be quite a useful SketchUp file that we can insert into our other drawings. Now you might want to dress this up by putting some pieces of wood into the bowl, but my view is that's going a little too far. So we'll just save that file now, call it Fire Pit, and then we'll bring it into a GK Plus exported design.
Well, I've returned to our earlier design and have used file and import and brought our fire pit model in and sat it onto a paving brick. So I hope that demonstrates how easy it is in SketchUp to make models where you sweep the profile around some sort of path.